Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate you. You guys, we are filming today. No, that didn't come out right. Today, we are filming. No, what? Today, we're going to talk about the books I read in July. So, happy new month because this is the 1st of August. I'm recording this right now on the 1st of August. So, happy new month. Welcome to the month. Even though I've already filmed my August TBR and you would have seen it by now. Happy new month. Okay. <laughs> your reading month i want to know what did you read in july like which one was your favorite i just want to know okay so for me i read these in july one two three four five six seven i read seven books in july and i know i picked more than this or i picked something even different because there were two books here that i didn't even ah there were two books, two books here that i didn't even select for july at all but i read them so we're just gonna talk about everyone every we're, gonna, we're, we're just gonna talk about every single one of them so let's get straight into the video so guys remember last month in june i read uh twisted dove and i ended up giving i think four or five stars no four or four point five stars i really liked it so this one i started with a banger oh my god i started with twisted games okay sorry it's upside down <laughs> I started with Twisted Games and I really, 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 really love this. I think I even love it more than Twisted Love. I gave this five stars because everything was just giving. It was giving what it was supposed to give. So this one is talking about Reese Larson. Is it Reese or Rice? Reese Larson and Bridget. Bridget the princess and Reese the bodyguard. So both of them is giving, you know, forbidding love. You're not supposed to love each other. But I really, really like the fact that this book took us across so many years it took us along what happened how they fi finally started to develop uh, the feelings it was already there since the beginning anyway so um you know how it is as a princess you're not even supposed to be seen smelling a bodyguard at all why would i use the word smelling jesus so basically bridget and and reese are not supposed to be together never ever supposed to be together but then something happens that now made it much more worse our senior brother decided to abdicate the throne because of love and at that time bridget and lesson and reason and reese oh at that time bridget and reese had not even made their relationship you know a deal they've not even started saying okay that i cannot do without him and i cannot do without her that kind of vibe so she decided to go back she decided to go back and you know take her brother's place or else her cousin is going to take the throne and that cousin is giving all negative vibes right so we discovered so many things how they would you know break the law and be together and i just like so many words here where we, we said something like he said um oh Oh my god it doesn't matter you are still you are still mine mine to fight with mine to protect mine to <clears throat> and mine to love i really like that part <laughs> and then there was also one part that it says i just like the energy that i was giving she wasn't mine to take but it was but i was taking her anyway like she's not mine to take but i'm taking her anyway but regardless of what you say she's still gonna be mine that kind of vibe okay it gave me you know a fight for love love prevails over everything and there's always going to be a way and i like the fact that bridget was very very smart she was actually smart even though she didn't believe in herself sometimes but reese was there rice reese was there to actually help her to motivate her sometimes and they had a kind of argument and they still came back together i liked it i liked it a lot three five stars i, I was about to say three, five stars okay so then the next thing i picked up was this one remember me by sophie kinsella oh my god i really like this one too oh my god it's talking about a lazy name a lady i said lazy a lady named it's about to rain it's talking about a lady named um lexi okay it started with a prologue telling us about how her life was like so 2014 in the year 2014 and then the next thing we are in 2017 and she had an accident in our mercedes like she's a rich babe she's she's married to a very handsome guy and stuff like that her life is perfect she wears designer clothes designer shoes designer bag everything designer so <laughs> Only for her to wake up and she thinks that she's still in 2014. 
that's crazy yeah so she doesn't even know who her husband she doesn't even know anything and she's trying to like now remember everything that is happening then she realizes that her friends hate her uh best friends of 2014 don't like her anymore her best friends see her as a bitch and she's also a very very good career woman she's dr career driven she's determined she's buzzy and stuff like that so she starts to wonder why people hate her and what is wrong and then a guy just pops up into her <laughs> into her life and claims that they are lovers even though she's married to someone else so she's like i would never cheat on my husband like who the hell are you i really really liked her determination i have to say uh i got a little bit pissed off in the book because she was just so confused which is understandable you just lost your memory so yeah so many people try to even play on her on her not knowing about so many things so yeah, I gave this one four stars. I feel like it was a very, very enjoyable read. It's made me laugh so many places uh, that, yeah, I tapped, I tapped quite some places. And I also learned some things from the book. I learned that even though you are fine, you have some fallouts with some friends, you would, you know, get separated from, from friends. But at the same time, don't let it be in a bitchy way. You know, you know this saying that says, you don't know the worth of what you have until you lose it. So... Yeah, I give this four stars. So guys, the next book I read is this one. The No Show by Bethel Larry. Honestly guys, this was actually... Hmm, it talks about a guy named Joseph Carter. He set a date with three different women. Uh, I think there's Shobam, there's Miranda, and then there's Jane. So these three women, but he set this date on Valentine's Day and he did not show up for each of the Valentine's dates. And the book takes us on what exactly happened why he did not show up honestly you guys when i started the book i was like hmm, what the hell is happening like why like why are you cheating on these women why are you dating three people at the same time but then guys as you continue to read the book you realize what happened you realize that it's not what you think okay it's not what you think the plot twist was actually really crazy because i'd already written off the guy i'd already said oh no no no, this guy is not is not it is not worth it i hate him for dating three people at the same time but later the book helps us understand what happened and it made me cry shoban's part made me cry because why is that bird singing shoban's part made me cry because i was not expecting what happened and it was really, really painful but then again, I have to say the book was really, really slow in the beginning because I was really confused. I was just like, I had to put it down, then pick it up again, then put it down. I was just trying my best not to DNF and I'm glad I did not DNF because I was about to. I was this close <laughs> to DNF in. So I gave it 3.5 stars all because it was very, very slow. The three different POVs. So we are reading the POVs of the three ladies that he stood up on Valentine's Day. Yeah, so I think everyone should read. I think it's a very, very good read. I'll have probably even given it a higher rating, but just because the beginning was just pissing me off. But I love the ending. The ending was satisfying. It was amazing. Yeah. Then the next book I read is this one, Heartbones by Colin Hoover. <laughs> I actually just finished it, and it talks about a girl named Bayo. So I don't know if it's pronounced Bayo or Bayo, but there's a there's a part in it that talks about the pronunciation. You guys, I tapped, I tapped this book. Like I really tapped because there were so many quotes in it. There were so many sayings. There were so many things that I could. I I just liked, you know. Like there's this part that says, "I may not be ending the summer with, uh, by my side, and I'm not ending it with something I didn't have when I showed up here. I'm ending it with a family." This girl grew up with her mother her mother and her father had a one night stand so uh she's a product of a one night stand and then the mother is a drug addict she lives in a trailer so it talks about how she hated her mother hated her father for not being there but the, there's a twist in the story uh, according to that part because the father never actually knew that all the child support he was paying for the mother was not even giving to the girl every money he sent out you know he was always caring in his own mind he was doing his best but to her she just hated him so she found life difficult life was very very difficult life was very very difficult for her and she became at stoned yeah stone added oh 
I don't know, it's art stone or stone hearted. So she became stone hearted, and something happened one day when she got back home. Her mother died of overdose. She decided to go and stay with her father because they were going to be. Ev- she was going to be evicted from the trailer that she was living in. Like this girl was so poor to the point that she was eating. She eats anything just so she can survive she has gone through a lot and when she went to go and meet her father then she met another guy named samson so it's now i if i tell you more after this point i think i'll be spoiling the book so samson is also a damaged person she noticed it when she looked in his eye on the ferry and at the back here it says damaged people recognize other damaged people it's like a club you don't want a membership to it was actually written in the book too when she realized that he's also damaged that part was really really whoop. it tells you how they both clicked how what happened there was a plot twist well i will not say i didn't see it coming i knew that something was up with the guy's attitude but later found out later in the book but really really honestly i love a lot of quotes here there's another one i want to read to you guys my father once told me love is a lot like water it can be calm raging threatening soothing water will be many things but even it all its forms it will always be water you are my water like you are my what <laughs> honestly i gave this one a 4.5 stars and i feel like everyone should read it it was very very fast because you never write the the easiest read ever like you, you don't even need to like i was just flowing with the story there was nothing difficult so yeah so guys um the next book i read was this one chasing facades by Elizabeth Olushola Adeolu. This is actually by a Nigerian author. I really enjoyed this. This talked about Tayo. She's a detective and it's one in one state like that. The state was a not it's not a real state. I don't think it's a real state in Nigeria, but it's one state called Sunaweo or so. There was a murder case that happened and she was one put in charge of discovering who killed the man so that was our job now i really enjoyed it because the plot twist at the end was crazy you actually i feel like you might actually know who committed the murder who killed the man but then again i i feel like mm, i didn't see it coming because i thought it was someone else i thought it was someone else all through until i was like suspecting this person anyway shall i loved the banter between her and our colleagues at work like it's so funny because i feel like you even relate more if you're a nigerian or you understand some things that happen in nigeria like security wise yeah you understand more but then again there was some parts where tayo was acting all weird like someone that didn't have sense but let's just say like (laughs) there was also a part where i felt like it was being dragged because then this is the case we're working on on finding out who killed this man but then they put her on on that case yes it's normal that happens in normal day day day-to-day workings but at the same time i felt like there were other things that we were not really necessary but all things equal i gave it a four stars because i actually enjoyed the banter between her oh oh, there was one of our colleague mr obi that man i i i wish like and i pray that we'll have more of that kind of man he helped her platonic is like his relationship with her was platonic and from the beginning to the end like there was no nonsense you know some stuff that happened like that in some organizations then the other book i read is this one before the coffee gets cold by toshi kazu kawaguchi okay this is how it looks like okay okay why is this blinking do you guys see the light blinking or is it just my eyes yeah so this is not one of the books i so one of the books i planned to read this month but i don't know what happened i just felt like picking it up and it took me a while to finish reading it because i went on a staycation in lagos so i was not available i was not at home so i i was dra- like i was dragging this story it was slow in the beginning but it talks about a cafe there's a cafe in this cafe you can time travel and there's only one particular chair that can take you to the past or to the future i didn't know about the future thing but later in the story you get to find out there were four stories here the first one is the lover's story the second one is the husband and the wife's story then the third the sisters then the fourth mother and child honestly the the lover's story ended on a very good note it was actually a happy ending the sisters that was where i started feeling it like no i started feeling it hit me deep in my soul and then also the mother and child oh that one that one capped it all off well but i feel like in the beginning i was kind of like okay and another thing you have to notice when if you are going to read this is that they repeat so many things because the stories are kind of like so they'll tell you this is how you feel when you're traveling 
then the next person doing they'll t- describe the feeling again so i felt like i was repeating kind of like repeating the reading mm, i don't know how to explain i already knew what was gonna happen so my eyes was kind of skipping a little bit but then i finished it and i gave it a 3.5 stars because yeah the stories were actually touching but not touching to the point of heartbreak like a cry no but it was really, really my, my favorite are the sisters and also the mother and child part so yeah oh there was also a quote i liked from this book at the end of the day whether one returns to the past or travels to the future the present does not change so it raises the question just what is the point of that chair oh and another thing is on that chair there's a particular woman that didn't follow the rules so that woman is a ghost but she's always on that chair and you can only use the chair when she's not seated so you have to like hold on for her to leave the chair the book was really interesting honestly i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie and there's also on that part that i really uh i really liked i think it's here water flows from high places to low places this is the nature of gravity emotions also seem to act according to gravity when in the presence of someone with whom you have a bond and to whom you have entrusted your feelings it is hard to lie and get away with it the truth just wants to come flowing out those parts i loved those lines yeah so yes so the last book i read in august is this one happy place by me henry and i tapped it i used yellow on this side pink on this side and a little bit of blue but that's not the point this book is amazing because there are so many things about this book that I love. I love the found family. I love the friendship. I love the fact that they try their best to, you know, stay together. I understand them. Do you understand? I understand them. So I gave this book a 4.5 stars because it's 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 all good. Okay. So it talks about Harriet and Win. Harriet and Win and Sabrina and Party and Kimmy and Cleo. All of them. They are friends and they they're like family so they're always together always going to a particular place where i read calls are happy place then there was a rule that you should not date your friend because you know how it is when you're in a relationship with someone that you're friends with when the relationship breaks you kind of lose the friendship too and you know since it's not a circle they are like six it's gonna be a problem because then it's gonna break that circle too so uh, Harriet and Wynne are in that circle and they are in love with each other but somehow somehow they actually broke up and in the book you see why they broke up I saw someone's review where the person was saying there was not a genuine reason to why they broke up but actually there was a genuine reason and I feel like it was reason enough because sometimes you just you, you are in that phase where you feel like okay this should be the right thing you should let the person go because of how you feel at that moment but then you know deep down that you actually really love the person so it talks about what happened to them it goes in the past and the present and the past and the present format i really enjoyed it you guys should read it and i love a lot of code so my god oh i have to say the, there was a part where Harriet keeps saying you 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 that part actually pissed me the shit out like i was like why, why is you 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 <laughs> That part pissed me off, but apart from that, the book was really good. Okay, okay, oh my god, oh my god. So, this was the part where um, Wynne said, I love you to Harriet, and then she was like, don't say that. And then he said, why not? He whispers, why not? She says, because those words don't belong to me anymore. And he's like, of course they do. They belong to you before I ever saw you. They belong to you in every universe we're in, Harriet. Like... If that's not enough to convince you to read this book i don't know there are so many other ones that will convince you of course and because of happy place i can't wait to get to beach read i just got beach read in, in my most recent book haul that you guys are not going to see yet because i still have other book hauls coming up so i don't know i've done about four book hauls that you've not seen and yeah so these are all the books i read I'm so excited. I had a very good read. I enjoyed it so much. I can't wait to actually get to Twisted 8, the book 3. I can't wait to read another book by Beth O'Leary because I enjoyed this one. But, you know, like I said in the video. Then, Colinova never disappoints me. Then, I'm going to be reading the book 2 of this before the coffee gets cold. So, thank you so much for watching. Tell me the ones you read. Tell me what you rated all these. And I'll see you guys in my next video. This hair keeps disturbing the shit out of me. Deuces. At this point, I need to get myself a bookshelf. <laughs>